The central government is likely to give a time frame to the Supreme Court today on the restoration of Jammu and Kashmir statehood that was abolished more than four years ago. Now, the government's top law officer will make a statement before a constitution bench of the Supreme Court today. Do remember the court is hearing a batch of pleas challenging the revocation of Article 370, under which Jammu and Kashmir had a special constitutional position. In fact, on Tuesday, Tushar Mehta, the Solicitor General of India, told the Apex Court that he will make a positive statement today after he was asked by the Supreme Court to take instructions from the government and come back with a time frame for the restoration of democracy and statehood of the former state. My colleague Nazir Masoodi joins us over the phone line with a quick update. Nazir, a big day for Jammu and Kashmir? Yeah, indeed. And it's after more than four years of the abrogation of Article 370 and dividing and downgrading Jammu and Kashmir state into two union territories. Center will finally give a time frame about restoration of the statehood and also restoring democracy in Jammu and Kashmir. It's after the constitution meant asked the center that it should give a time frame. So far, center has been maintaining that it will restore the statehood, but statehood would be restored only after elections are held. Elections are ha holding elections is the prerogative of the Election Commission of India. So essentially, there is no time frame and for last five years, Jammu and Kashmir is without an elected government. It is directly administered by the central government. Now, finally, we'll hear, and everybody here, political parties, common people have been waiting for what center would tell the Supreme Court today. Will it give, give, give a time frame which we, would be different than what center has been maintaining so far? Because so far it was open. They were saying we'll hold elections and then there would be the restoration of statehood, but there was no time frame. So time frame is very, very important, crucial today. Will there be a time frame today which center is now bound to give because the Supreme Court has directed the top law officers of the government uh, Attorney General and the Solicitor General both have come back yesterday and the Solicitor General said he has taken instructions from the government of India and he will make a positive statement on this issue and he said that the UT states of Jammu and Kashmir is not a permanent feature but the UT of Ladakh will remain as UT. And there has been a pushback against centers at current arrangement in Ladakh as a UT. There have been massive protests over the last two years. There have been hunger strikes. So people in Ladakh also certainly are not happy with the current arrangement. In fact, there are petitioners from the Ladakh as well who have challenged the abrogation of 370 and reorganizing JNK state, uh, state as two union territories. So we'll have to see what center he will say. But it is indeed a big day for Jammu and Kashmir what center say will the will Jammu and Kashmir get back its statehood anytime soon? That we'll hear it today in the Supreme Court. Let's wait and see what the center says. Thank you so much, Nasir, for joining us with that update. The central government is likely to give a time frame to the Supreme Court today on the restoration of Jammu and Kashmir statehood.